The owner of a potentially deadly cobra now on the loose in a Grand Prairie neighborhood says there was no lock on the cage. The West African banded cobra disappeared from his cage sometime yesterday. And there it is in happier times, I guess. Grand Prairie Animal Services and wildlife experts have been searching for the six-foot snake ever since. And police and fire officials warned hospitals in the area that in the event someone gets bitten by this, quote, extremely dangerous snake, how to take action. Fox 4's Macy Jenkins is live with the story tonight. Macy. Well, Blake and Steve, you can probably imagine this has been a very tense day for the people in this neighborhood after learning that a very large venomous snake is on the loose in their neighborhood. Today, we talked to several people who were filling in small holes or cracks around their homes to try to keep this snake from getting in. The snake owner told Fox 4 it happened because of a cage malfunction. I don't know if it's in my house or anything. Like, that's what I've been scared of. Oh, my God, it's very big. I had no idea you can have poisonous snakes in your house. People in this Grand Prairie neighborhood are on edge tonight after learning their neighbor's venomous West African banded cobra was missing from its cage. Oh, you don't want to know what I want to tell them right now. Grand Prairie police say they learned about the escaped snake on Tuesday after getting a call from its owner. I really just love reptiles as a whole, no matter if it's venomous, non-venomous. The owner, who did not give Fox 4 his full name, says he was constructing an in-home enclosure for the female cobra when he had a mishap. If we just would have had a lock on the cage. No, and no lock on the cage. There wasn't a lock, and that... that it, it, it could have simply been handled. Grand Prairie Animal Services, the owner, and a professional snake handler searched outside of the home Tuesday night with no luck. Grand Prairie police warned people not to approach the snake, calling it extremely dangerous. Its owner says it likely won't attack if it isn't provoked. The thing is, is that these are beautiful creatures and they're actually very sensitive. Randall Kennedy with Dallas Fort Worth Wildlife says the snake is likely just looking for a shady place to hide out. Don't get overhyped. It's not going to chase you down, anything like that. If you step on it, it's going to bite you. If you grab it, it's going to bite you. Other than that, you're, you know, you're pretty safe. But Kennedy admits a bite from this cobra could be fatal depending on your body type. And there's no antivenom available to combat the poison once it gets into you. If I had a gun, I would shoot it, but <laughs> I don't have a gun. As the search continues, neighbors say they're focused on keeping small pets and children safely inside. I feel very bad for the community and everything. For what they, the, the fears that they have to go through. It's just these wild creatures. Yeah. Now, the owner says that the snake had only been in his possession for a few days. Grand Prairie police say he did have a license from Texas Parks and Wildlife to own the Cobra.